little later as we said. Now then, in the 1960s and 70s, a small workforce in the South Wales Valleys achieved something remarkable. They built a range of vehicles that were uniquely Welsh. They even had a dragon logo on the bonnet. The company is long gone, but its classic cars are enjoying a huge revival, as Adiola Jewis has been finding out. These are Gilburns, and they have a special place in motoring history. They're the only production cars completely designed and manufactured in Wales by a Welsh company. They were the brainchild of two motoring enthusiasts who became unlikely business partners in the late 1950s. Bernard Fries was a former German POW. Giles Smith was a butcher from Church Village near Pontypridd. Jason is Giles's son, and he remembers how his dad turned a pipe dream into a fully fledged car company. They did a lot of work in my grandfather's house, which was also a butcher's shop. Behind there, they they had like uh, a couple of outbuildings and barns and that, which they converted one into a workshop to actually produce the prototype cars. <laughs> Production moved from the back of a butcher's shop to this purpose-built factory in Flantwood Fadra. It was here that other Gilbert models took shape, like the Juno and the Invader. They all have their own personalities, and I think people get very emotionally attached to them. No one is quite the same, you know, because they're so individual and they're all handmade. Um, and uh, I, I think they're absolutely brilliant. In 1974, the company ceased trading. The motoring dream was over. Fifty years on, these Welsh cars are enjoying a remarkable revival. One thousand Gilburns were made during the company's lifetime, and more than 600 of them have survived. I'm very proud of what my father did. It's brilliant today that the cars are still here and there's so many of them on the roads and that's part of the heritage that they're a Welsh car. Gilburn is gone, but not forgotten. People all over Wales still cherish these cars. They can be a precious link to our past, a reminder of a bygone industry, or simply a companion on life's journey. And you can see much more on that story on Vanished Wales tonight at 8 on ITV1 Wales.